Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we're just coming over the front lines as you can see from the little puffs of anti-aircraft fire that are coming up. Just joining the rest of the fighters, which is still getting into our position now. Seems to be picking on me this flak a little bit, but um, it's okay. So, dead ahead, following the river is the, the little town or city that we need to um, attack the railway junction in. Um, We've done the final turn, or well, the turn for that uh, point two, which is uh, leading us up to point three, which is where the uh, the target is. So so far so good. Let's just ease off. So we don't overshoot. Oh. And I always pull up at the last minute. I don't know why. There we go. That's better. They shoot forward and back a little bit, but there we go. I'll try and keep a cut. Constant speed, we should be good. Whoa, hello, sunshine. Where do you come from? He must have been out of p position. <laughs> Scared the life out of me. Right. Can we have a quick look? Can we see the town? Not at this. Actually, not at this stage. No. Uh, we're going to continue fly on. Only a short while now, only probably a couple of minutes, but we'll, when you rejoin us we'll be preparing to attack the uh, the town, this railway junction, uh, as instructed. No enemy fighter coverage as yet. Targets on your own. Patrol for grand targets on our own. Okay, we'll do. Right, so we're diving down. Can we see anything? No, nothing yet. Keep an eye on them. I'll follow them in. If uh, if they're going to go for attack, that makes perfect sense. It's uh, a lot more difficult for the anti-aircraft gunners to uh, have a go at all of us when we um, attack in, rather than if it's, if we do it individually, then they'll be able to pick us off quite easily. Um, oh, we're peeling away. See the anti aircraft to begin with. The little batteries, where are they? Oh, there's one in that brown field down there, that ploughed field. Can we see any locomotives? No. Oh, there's some anti aircraft fire coming up. Right, they're rolling in. I'm rolling in with them. Can you see anything? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're not coming in for the best angles here, boys. Um, uh, no, I can't make a run on that one. No, they are now. Oh, those buildings are taking some anti-aircraft fire. Anti-aircraft fire following us and whizzing through the uh, the trees and the water there. Where's that coming from? Oh, there's guns by the bridges. Okay. really difficult to pick out where the t there's a the target there. Right, there is a locomotive. Cool. Um, there's holy crap. There's some anti-aircraft there. Okay, well, don't want to do that again. Over the port, and of course there's some anti-aircraft guns there. Of course there is. Right. It's a real challenge. So the anti-aircraft around this town is pretty hot. Right, so we're going to set up for the train. Oh, I want that locomotive. So it's not the best because of the. There's an anti-aircraft gunner just in that street as well. So we'll try and use some of the buildings for protection. Oh, this is a dreadful angle. Has to... No, we're not even going to go for it. Let's go low. Keep that anti-aircraft gun fire off us. Let it hit the buildings, hit the trees. OK, 
Okay, the other aircraft are coming in there. Ah, oh, how to get that? That that is really difficult to um to strafe. Probably our best angle. From up high. Try and get over that. Ah, no. Anti aircraft straight up. An anti aircraft there. No, this is really tra challenging. Really challenging. And more anti aircraft there. Oh, shoot a brick. Well, the holy crap, that was lucky. I went straight through the canopy. Whoa. Okay. Uh, I'm re RTBing, boys. I'm RTBing. That is ludicrously hard. Can't get the angle of um, the strafe. And then. Yeah, I believe. Pulling hard to well, it's not pulling too hard, but it's pulling slightly, obviously, with the damaged wing. It's a trim left a little bit, but um, yeah, keep an eye on the temperatures, keep an eye on the fuel. Not too bad at the moment. Uh, we're quite a ways away from front line, so. Um, I'm gonna make back for oh that's oil appearing on my canopy. Right, let's get some altitude then, and we may be able to glide the rest of the way. We're gonna have to get some altitude. This engine is not gonna cut it. It's not gonna make it back. Guys, amazingly, I've made it back to base. That is incredible, right. This engine, that's a tough old engine. Look, it's, it's, let's go to this canopy. If it will wind back. Yeah, we're going to come straight down that, that runway if we can. So, gear down. And there we go, mission accomplished. Nothing happens. <laughs> we, we, we got no kills whatsoever. After 23 minutes and 36 seconds, we were able to get home, which is pretty much all we can say positive about that one. Okay, after the unmitigated disaster of the rail junction, we are going to go up again. This time it's on the 3rd of November, the following day. 14.39 time of takeoff. Weather, heavy clouds at 5,700 feet. Layer thickness, 2,000 700 feet. Uh, primary objective, your mission is to provide air cover for our ground forces near the front lines. Our supply trunks are hauling fuel and ammunition to the forward units in this area and are extremely vulnerable. Ground spotters will warn you of enemy aircraft and vector you to intercept their approach. You may RTB only when following the spotter's instructions. Wonderful, right. 
We've got some interception to do, which is great, because that last one was a nightmare. Let's get back into the aircraft. Hi everyone, we're up again. There's anti-aircraft fire over there. We've just literally taken off. As you can see, there's home base. So it would appear that we've got some enemy fighters in the area if we've got anti-aircraft guns going on. That might be them, right. Right, let's engage them then. We've got some more anti aircraft fire over there. Let's say we're over a friendly base, so it's only going to be an enemy aircraft. There they are, and they're streaking that way. Let's turn in on them. Hello, is that? That looks like a. A nasty as well, right. Oh. Have we noticed somebody on my tail? They are 190s by looks of it. Alright, let's tear them. Alright. Oh, he's going after uh, one of our boys. I'm not close enough. I'm gonna. Oh, there's another one. There's a third one. Look. Oh, they've collided. They've collided. Oh, he's just got him. Come on. Come on, Acorn Five. Let's get him. Take that one, I'll take this one. Try to ram me. Oh my god, we got another one's down. Holy crap, guys! How we've been out? We must be outnumbered. Seriously, here. Why are we getting absolutely pummeled? This is this is not the script. Got his tail. Spin, baby, spin. He's booming and he's. Hang on, is that a 109? Come on, let's see if we can get up there. Come on. Oh no, we're already dropping. We're all, our nodes are dropping. We're going to roll that way. Brilliant. Just stalled. There you go. Where do you go? Four. 
Alright, on his tail. Took a while, but we're there. Finally. Don't want to black out, don't want to black out. Let's slow down the turns. Here we go, here we go. Goodness me. I think he's a bit got a bit of damage because he's not maneuvering. Oh Got him. Oh my god. The, uh, the gun's obviously um, calibrated for 500 meters rather than the 300 meters I usually fire at. That's, that's throwing me off. I wonder why I, where I thought I needed to be firing and where I was actually firing in two different places. Hello! He's on our tail. I've lost him in the... I can see his exhaust. He's gone up there somewhere. There he is. Let's get above this cloud so we can hopefully see him. Ah, oh, crap, where's he gone? Aircraft fire down there, so let's roll down there. Water break. This is Acor 4 requesting landing approach. Over. Proceed. Acor 4, I'm wounded. Acor 4, I'm on fire. Fail a knife. Oh my god. We're not doing particularly well today, are we? I've lost him. Look, we've got aircraft height. Follow me and make sure we confirm the kill. Two, engaging fighters to the northwest. High range, about three and a 
Cloud Mile. Um, Acorn, six. Engaging fighter to the southeast. Range half mile. Out. Ah, oh, there they are. They're in front. Okay. Oh, hello. Where'd the other one go? Close on him. Yep, he's realised that anyway, through the clouds. Don't want to hit that. <laughs> right. There's home base over there. We're still flying over home base, so we're pretty okay. Should we need to bail out, is it? I think there's people over there. I can see aircraft over behind us turning to intercept. Right. Where the nose is now, there's two there, but there's also another one over here. Also got anti-aircraft fire behind us. Oh, and we got some new on our tail. That'd be why. Oh, don't black out. He's booming and zooming. We'll wait for him to come down. Let's try and get that. Before he does. Off the gas, just in case he wants to do some turning matches, we don't want to black out. There you can see he already starting to black out. Let's get the nose in front. Oh. Trying to adjust for the different. Oh, we've got some John tail. I should have changed that gun conversion stand. This is throwing me right off. I'm out of ammo. Ah, oh, crap. 
David Friday to the southeast. Rain half mile. Out. My wasteful shooting may mean you survive another day, my friend. I may try and scare you out of the sky, I suppose. What I don't want it to do is him bolch me when I uh, try and land. Right, if he comes back and vultures me as I'm landing, I will not be pleased. Canopy open, just in case they need to cut us out. It'd be easy just to uh, drag us out of the, the wreckage, should there be an issue. Anti-aircraft guns aren't firing, which suggests it's quite quiet. One final check. I'm gonna fly over some Spitfires again because you know that's always the best place. Park your Spitfires at the end of the runway. Just as a damaged aircraft are coming in. Somebody's just gone in over there. Boom! Mission complete! Oh my goodness me, we managed to um, not get vaulted right at the end there. After 23 minutes and 50 seconds, we shot down five aircraft, which is pretty sweet. An ace in one mission, that's pretty good going. Oh my goodness. But it's not a good day at all. Ground troops cover. That mission, only one relative survivor. Uh, Sydney Rose. Deputy Commander of the Squadron, Flight Lead, was shot down and killed. Rodney Hunter, shot down and killed. Nicholas Kelly, shot down and killed. Bruce Saunders, shot down but wounded. Douglas Foster, shot down but wounded, without putting anything on the scoreboard. Uh, however, we managed to um, score five victories and uh, survive, which is... It proved to be a uh, it's a huge thing, huge thing today. Coming to look at number three squadron's roll of honor, we have two fit pilots. Uh, Raymond Atkinson is promoted to deputy commander. Well, <laughs> it seems a bit weird just the two of us, one commander, one deputy. But we do have um, Charles Fletcher, Bruce Graham. Bruce Saunders and Douglas Foster, who are wounded, but they will return. Uh, sadly, Sidney Rose, Rodney Hunter and Nicholas Kelly 
uh, have been killed. Uh, the squadron statistics, though, 183 aircraft shot down, 88 vehicles destroyed, 25 railroad targets destroyed, 52 heavy weapons, 38 building targets, and 20 marine targets. And wow, there we are, 76 aircraft kills. That's crazy. Only five Tempests left. Good God. Looking at our personal tally, you can see our medals we already have there. Uh, it takes us up to 76 aircraft kills, 13 vehicle kills, 2 railroad, 1 heavy weapons, and no buildings or marines. Um, yeah, 66 light aircraft, 1 medium aircraft, and 9 parts. That medium aircraft was that Major Schmidt 262, uh, which shot down some time ago. But we survive another day, and that's all we can really be thankful for. It's been a tough couple of days here in number three squadron. We had a ill-fated railroad attack, which didn't work out particularly well. Uh, and then following on that, we've had to do some ground troop covers where we've been outnumbered by 190s and 109s, sadly losing the majority of the uh, the flight. Only ourselves successfully landing back at base. Two others wounded, the rest lost. Tough day, tough day in number three squadron's history. One that will be remembered for a long time. We're going to leave it there on that somber note. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.